There are many materials in Times Square, and one material in particular, which is pretty predominant in our society, is blue jeans. When we come in close, we see that quite a few people are wearing blue jeans. There's some there. These two people are wearing blue jeans. There's more blue jeans. Blue jeans here. I'm going to zoom in on this one here. This is John Knoll, one of the co-authors of Photoshop with his brother Tom. And right here we have the original file that was created for the painting. I'm going to zoom in down here on his jeans, and we can see the denim material right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this denim material was created. Create a new file here, and I'm going to fill this file with a color for our denim. So I'll pick a blue like that, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill that with that color. Fill foreground color there. So in a layer on top of this, I'm going to fill that layer with a 50% gray, a neutral density. Now I'm going to return my colors to black and white, and I'm going to use a filter on this layer. I'm going to go in there and choose a particular filter that's going to give me what I need, which is halftone pattern under sketch. Now, I have quite a few things that I could choose from. I'm going to go in here and choose line. I'm going to bring the contrast down to zero, and I got the size to the default of one. I'm going to click OK, and that's going to give me a bunch of nice little lines based on my two colors of black and white. I'm going to give this another filter. I'm going to go in there and give this a filter. Under Pixelate, we'll find Mesotint. I'm going to give it a Mesotint, which is set to fine dots as a default. That's what I'm going to use. And you can see that it's going to create a texture to my little lines. Click OK, and I now have a texture to those lines. I'm going to duplicate that layer. So now I have a duplicate of it. I'm going to pull back a little bit. I'm going to take that layer, and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. So I'm going to go in there and say rotate, and holding down my shift key to constrain it, I'm going to give it to 45 degree angle, just like that. I'm now going to enlarge it. Let's turn this off so we can see the blank area. I'm going to enlarge it so that it covers up the entire space. I'm holding down my Option key and my Shift. That's Alt and Shift on a Windows machine. And I'm going to pull out until I just cover the entire area of the canvas, as you can see there. Make that happen. I'm going to come in real close and look at this texture that I've created so far. I'm not going to turn on the one behind it, which we don't see it because of the fact that these layers are covering each other. I'm going to change the mode for these layers. I'm going to change this one here to a soft light. And I'm going to change this one here to a multiply. And there we see that the resulting effect is that we have a denim type of material that we can then use for our images. I'm going to select the top layer here. And holding down my Option key, I'm going to say Merge Visible. That's going to give me a layer that's a composite of the three layers beneath it, which has the entire fabric, which I can now call it denim. And I can use this file and drag this layer over to every other file where I need this denim material and then use it from there on.